I'm Mr. Yeomans and I'm here to speak to you about the fun parts of Year 11 when they finish their um, exams in May and June. Our students are working extremely hard in lessons now, 25 hours a week, and hopefully be attending lots of session sixes soon and putting that revision for their mocks and for their final GCSEs. So it's really something to look forward to once they've finished that and put in all the effort they possibly can um, throughout Year 11, so the prom and leavers day. Just to talk you through what Leavers Day is, um, it's a, we ask all our students to come into school uh, together again after they've finished their exams in June. Um, hopefully it will be on Monday the 21st of June, but again we'll confirm that with our students as soon as possible. Uh, in the morning they attend an assembly where we have lots of funny videos, certificates, so we celebrate student success and our students have the opportunity to take lots of photos with each other uh, and they come formally dressed. In the afternoon they change into fancy dress outfits and work together as teams uh, in fun activities like inflatables, slip and slides and problem solving activities to try and be the best team on that Leaves Day. It is a fantastic um, day that we want all our students to be involved in uh, and they, that is one of the last times they're going to see each other again before they get their results in August. Uh, and then on the Friday of that week, uh, we ask all our students to come to the prom, which is at the Marriott Hotel in Peterborough. Um, at the moment, we're just about to confirm it, but hopefully it'll be on the 25th of June 2021. Um, and all our students turn up at 7 o'clock, where our parents can come and take photos before they go into the Marriott. And they'll dance the night away with a disco and a buffet, and hopefully really celebrate the success of their hard work they've had that year. Um, again, some people think, oh, it's not for me, the prom. Actually, just give it a go because you don't have to just be at the disco. It's a really big open space inside. There's gardens as well and that buffet. It's just a time for our students to spend with each other celebrating their success. We ask all our students here to complete the passport to your potential um, and future. And this really is something that they put all their information in, their hard work that they've put in over year 11 and it just shows them how hard they've worked going into their exams and um, so they complete it and this then allows them to go to that prom and last day as well it shouldn't be something that stresses out um, students at all it should the prom and last day is really a byproduct of students hard work throughout the year so it just monitors things like their credit so then working hard in lessons and going to session six if they can get there we really emphasize the, the importance of hard work uh, their attendance, which is really important, uh, being well behaved, they also get points for, uh, and completing extra maths and English revision, sometimes over February half term or different times of the year where they'll get m m more points as well. Um, we do say that the um, prom and last day is very much a privilege and not a right. Some students say it's my right to go to the prom and last day, I've been here for five years, I deserve to go. Well actually we say to our students, if they've been poorly behaved in year 11, they've not helped the rest of their team, their year group out, because they've been taking too much of the teacher's time with poor behaviour, then we will say, unfortunately you cannot go to the prom and leave us day. These are, it's a privilege, not a right to go to them. And they must also remind our students that if they are excluded in year 11 or have excessive amount of behaviour points, once again, they are unlikely to be able to attend uh, that prom or last day. But I'm sure that won't be the case and we want to see every single student at these milestone events at the end of the year. Um, after they've had that uh, fun last week with the prom and leavers day, uh, in the past our students have been given the opportunity to complete NCS. National Citizen Service. Uh, it's been really well um, taken up in the past. We've had the gold uh, and silver awards for about 50% of the cohort uh, doing the course. It's a government initiative and it is, uh, I think, £50 for a three-week um, event. And at the end of it, they get a signed certificate uh, by the Prime Minister. Uh, it's a really fun and enjoyable three weeks that they can actually also do in two weeks. Uh, one week is spent at an outdoor activity centre where they'll do team building, leadership skills. Uh, they have another week where they um, spend the, a week um, staying in halls of residence at a university and they learn life skills, they look at different careers. Uh, they even like get money where they've got to go out and buy their food for the week and cook for them. So there's lots of really interesting things they do. And the last week they do a social action project and working um, together for a charity. Um, all in all, it's £50 
for the three weeks and that gets paid directly to National Citizen Service but we also do help fund those students that can't afford to pay the £50. If you've got any questions at all about these please don't hesitate uh, to contact me at any point. Thank you for listening.